Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Myth of Empires. And I have made a decision. Look at me, I'm making this decisions. I am going to actually go for one-handed swords and shields. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any more expertise points, and to be perfectly honest, I don't know if I want to actually put them in those settings. So I think I'm going to leave this alone the way it is, but when I get more expertise points, I will be putting them in there. Now, I did spec into making uh, swords, but you do need a weapon bench for that. In order to make a weapon bench, I need clay. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to actually, before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and make myself some horse armor. Hell yeah. So I don't lose my horse, hopefully. I'm probably going to lose her anyway. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I might be going into very dangerous territory. I probably am, but we're going to see what's what. We're just going to kind of throw all that stuff up there. And then we're going to put some horse armor on our horse. I made, I made a little cage for her because I'm, I'm a small guy. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to look into her inventory. I now know what a lot of these stats mean. Obviously hit points. There's like stun points on like how many stun points she gets before I guess she gets knocked down or something. Um, there's stamina, max speed, maneuverability, fullness. Uh, I put these things in here and I think she's eating them when she's supposed to, I guess. Um, there's, uh, you know what? We might want some more food for her since we're going to be going on a long trip. I'm going to, I'm going to get her some more food. Um, there's health. There's also impact force. And then there's life force. Um, as like your, as your horse gets beat up, this will go down to zero and eventually your horse will die. Uh, so that should be pretty fun. All right. So what am I feeding her? I am feeding her this stuff right here. So I'm going to need grass and bark. So I'll take that stuff with me. Uh, grass and bark. And then I think we're just going to make a bunch more of it. Cause why not? All right. Yeah. Another nine. Sounds good to me. All right. Let's put the horse armor on her and see what's what. Oh, uh, there we go. And I guess you just put that. No, you got to put it over here, right? There we go. Cool. So now she's got some, uh, I don't know. She's going to be harder to kill. Hopefully nothing tries to kill her. That would be awesome. We need to go get some clay. And like I said, it's by a river. I, I've been told it's by a river. I'm going to come up to this river first and see if this river counts. If it doesn't, then I'm going to have to come all the way up here. Why don't we go ahead and set a waypoint here? Uh, personal marker. I guess that's good. I'll do that. There we go. All right. Get out of here, foxes. I was going to kill some foxes just for fun, but um, I want to do it when I get a sword, so we're going to get some clay. Oh, my God. All right, come on. There we go. There we go. So I'm assuming as the um, horse uses stamina, they're going to need uh, more food, just like I do. So, you know, we'll see. And like I said, the food only costs, yeah. what, grass and bark, so I can get that out yeah. in the field. So it's not the end of the world. As a matter of fact, can yeah. I... No. See, I can't put this in our inventory where I'm riding yeah. her, so... All right, so we're just going to go right for this and try and stay out of trouble and explore the land. She's not exactly super fast, but she's way faster than me. And I kind of asked around. I was, like, asking some people, and they were like, eh, about what weapon to use. And like, nobody could give me a straight answer. Then one person said, I like sword and shield. So I was like, okay, let's do sword and shield. Oh, there's rabbits up here. Yes. Is, there, is that, like, a rabbit area? Yep, that's a rabbit area. All right, we're going to have to go get some of those rabbits. I believe I can breed the rabbits. I just have no idea how to, or even if I can. Um, I know you can breed rabbits. I've seen people doing it. Um, oh, look. Riding basics. Cool. So what is that? Is that... You know what? I'll look at my skills at night. Let's not waste the daylight. I should probably be going on the road. Roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. I probably need roads. I should probably stay on the roads. Uh, am I even close to a road? Yeah, I'm coming up on a road. I, I think... You know what, maybe we'll take the road to the left and kind of go over here and see what's what. But, you know, I can get there a lot quicker going straight yeah. there. Or I could take yeah. the road up here and kind of look around in this area. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. 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 All right, so we got a little trail here. Not an official road, but there's like little trails and stuff. Like I guess these are like game trails. I really like this game a lot, guys. I really do. The only thing I'm a little bit nervous about is the combat. Is that a regular stone? Yeah, that's probably a regular stone. The only thing I'm a little bit nervous about is the combat. It's very deep, and I think I'm going to suck at it for a very long time. Um, hey, I'm an optimist, right? I'm always looking on the bright side. Uh, can I see this horse's stamina anywhere? Or uh, All right, I'm just going to go this way. 
Um, I don't see any stamina. Open inventory, dismount. Oh, I can open our inventory from here. Okay. Cool. So let's do that. And then, oh, she's leveling up, by the way. I'm pretty sure when I left, she was 14. So that's cool. And her fullness is doing good. All right. Stamina's... Yeah, do I... Am I supposed to see her stamina somewhere? I feel like I'm missing it. But I don't know. I'm not seeing it anywhere that I would think it would be. So, all right, we're going to come up to this river over here. I'm not going to cross this bridge because I don't know what the hell's over there. Um, it looks like they're probably friendly, but I'm not really in the mood to meet anybody right now. So, and they do have a guard tower, so that's not, that doesn't look good. Although, you know, I mean, they're just trying to protect themselves. Oh, what the hell is that? Ooh, fancy schmancy. All right, we're going to go along this. Um, see, I don't even know if this is considered a river. Is that... Could that be clay? I don't think... I'm pretty sure that's not clay. Those are just sleeping boars. So, I'm not sure if this is the river I need to be along. I feel... Yeah, there's clay on the other side, but I'm not going over there. Hell no. Hell no. Oh, is that it? Hold on. Nope. Nope. That's just... Oh, here we go. Yeah, alright. Here we go. Alright. Dismount. Okay. Okay. Um, novice protection will be, wait, will be deactivated when your total skill proficiency of a talent reaches 1500. I'm not sure what novice protection is, but I kind of wish it would stay there. <laughs> but, you know, I guess I got to be a big boy at some point. One thing I would like is to, is if there's some kind of, um, here, hold on. Yeah, there we go. I would like to, I would like there to be some kind of field, field of view slider. There's definitely a field of view thing in the, in the settings, but it doesn't really do anything. Um, I would love to play in first person, but without a field of view slider, it's just, it's, it's not going to work for me. I'll have to, I'll have to use it when I'm inside, but that'll be it. Okay. How much clay do I have to get? Man, that's pretty slow clay there. Uh, collect. What does this stuff give? Grass, grass. <laughs> Grass. Locusts. I actually got a lot of locusts. It's funny I almost starved to death because food is really not an issue in this game. At least not. I mean, well, guys, uh, my server's on like two times gathering rate. So take that for what you will. All right. So we're going to go ahead and finish up this quest. Okay. And advance reach. Uh, that's we're going to make the bed. And then uh, craft city gate frame. Craft wooden city gate. Craft wooden fort wall. I think I've made those things already. It's kind of weird that it's not showing up as me making them. Um, okay, do I have what I need for the sword right No, for the workbench right now. Um, I do have the clay. But you also need clay for the tailor bench. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab some more clay while I'm here. Not like that. Come on, get the clay, bro. Got my horse home okay. Um, she is level 16. Hells to the freaking yeah. I also made a torch so I can be able to see at night a little bit. All right, let's do our quests. All right, I opened up uh, what I needed for the bed, so let's make the bed. And then we also need to make a city gate frame, a city gate, and a fort wall. All right, so building. Uh, city gate frame. City gate. And fort wall. Okay. And let's go ahead and put that new bed down, I guess. Which is good, because I wanted to move my bed anyway. I don't know if there's a benefit to having a better bed. I don't know if it's, like, better in some ways, or if it's just, you know, feels better because you're not lying on the floor. So now I could teleport around, which is cool. Uh, by the way, that's a stronghold. I saw a stronghold when I was up there. So I think it's control, right-click to get rid of that. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, so if I make a bed up here, I could change. The thing is, I think if you teleport, you drop all your stuff. So it's not really, like, that useful, to be honest. All right, so we should be able to destroy this or bedroll. Use authority setting. Uh, rename. Teleport. Okay, I'm just going to destroy this one. All right. And let's go ahead. Oh, yep, stuff's being crafted. So let's finish up that quest. It's got 250 XP. Beautiful. All right, so I got a lot of new missions there. Um, oh, we're supposed to make two fort walls. Uh, where's the other one? 
Where is the other one for? Oh, there we go. Okay. So this is basically going to be the entrance of my, like, little compound here. So I think the entrance... Um, I don't know. I guess it could go right here. I don't know. I'll just put it right here. Six. Oh, wow. That's pretty big. All right. There's the end. Wow. What am I Where's my dinosaurs? <laughs> Let's go ahead and put the uh, gate in there. And now, does that go up and down? No, it opens like, okay, fair enough. All right. And then we got to get this out of there. Then we put two of these down. Six. See, I think they should snap into place. It's the only thing I don't like about this. I wish they snapped into place. So, um, but I guess I'll just put it wherever. I mean, auto absorption is yes. It should snap it. Oh, there's different ones. Oh, I don't really know what the difference is, to be honest. All right. Put that. Oh, now they snap into place. Okay, cool. That is fine. All right, cool. It's not exactly lined up the way I wanted it to be, but whatever. It's good. It's good enough. Good enough. Press X for reward. Beautiful. And now, oh, bandages. That's a good idea. Um, unlock crafting recipe. So people are telling me I should unlock all my crafting recipes. I don't know. I think I'll just wait until I, I need them. It's not it's not hurting me to not do them all. Uh, bandages. That's kelp. Is this bandages? This is um food and medicine. Oh, simple bandage right there. Okay. So what is that for? Uh, spread on the skin. Inflammation. It can restore five hit points. Uh, five points of hit point every second for... Oh, okay. Interesting. But obviously the bandage is better. So let's go ahead and make some bandages. Where is this search? It's kind of an awkward thing for the search thing, but... All right. Oh, we're going to need wood ash and wildflower. Okay. I do have some wood ash. Do I only have seven? I could go check my other, my other fireplace, but honestly, I really don't feel like it. Well, I went ahead and set up a couple more campfires to try and grind out some of this um, wooden ash. And I waited a little too long. I should have been doing it the whole time, but, you know, I didn't feel like wasting sticks. And I didn't know how important it was going to be, but it does not really matter. We've got what we need now. So let's just go grab some wild flowers, which I know I have in here. There we go. And let's make two. Should we make more than two bandages? I feel like I should make more than two. I'm just going to make two for now because that's all I can make anyway. Um, what was I missing for the bandages? Um, oh, yeah, the linen. No, no, the wood ash. Never mind. It's the wood ash. That's cool. Uh, I also need to make the um, the weapon bench, and I'm going to need more coarse leather, so I'm going to have to kill something. Uh, do I want to try and take out some boars yet? I heard that if you fight a boar, there's going to be like 50 boars that come out of the woodwork and come at you. But, and my protection's gone. The game told me my protection is gone. So, it kind of sucks. Um, I could, you know, maybe I should kill some rabbits. Nah, I don't want to kill the rabbits. I kind of want to wait and, like, get the rabbits. I guess I could just go looking for a deer. Maybe fox would be, maybe a fox would be a little bit easier. Um, the thing is, I don't know how many foxes are around. It looks like there's, like, three. By the way, what I killed last time was not a raccoon. It was a fox. You know, and there's, there's like, three foxes around here. Um, they're all pretty low level, though. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Wake up! Rise and shine! Alright, wakey wakey, eggs and bakey! Okay, oh, nope. Nope. Yeah, first person is definitely easier to fight. At least I could, I could, like, move circles around these guys. But that doesn't seem to really be feasible. Of course, I'm probably just doing it wrong. All right, and you're next. Looks like I'm gonna be stabbing the left. There you go. Yep, and you're running away because you're a little punk ass. There he goes. Okay, so did the, are there buddies coming or what? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Um, well, I need coarse leather. So does that mean I use axes? I think that might mean I use axes. Come on. There you go. That's bones, meat. No leather at all? Okay. Alright, so that was just bones and meat. 
So let me use this and see what we get from this one. We can find the body. There it is. All right, five. And that's bones. Yeah, that's just bones. I was even told that that's just bones. Um, maybe if I use the hammer, I can get leather. I don't know where the third body is, though. I thought I killed it pretty quick. I Did the third one get away? See, I don't know. I think the third one might have got away, or I just don't know where the body is. Let me see if I can find it. All right, the last one did run away, and it came back, and it didn't aggro me. I had to aggro it. So, by the way, I'm going to use my hammer. Yeah, hammer doesn't get anything. Okay, so I think if I'm going to have a shot at coarse hide, I think I have to use my axe. And even that doesn't look like it's getting me any coarse hide. That's really weird. Did I really not get any coarse hide from that? No, I didn't. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to kill a deer. Eh, I hate killing deer. I hate the way they run away. Plus, I'm encumbered. Let me go drop some stuff off, kill a deer, get some coarse hide. I have been hunting deer on the horse, and it's pretty cool. I've tried to stab the deer with the spear, but it doesn't really seem to work that well on the horse. Here, I'll show you. Um, I would think the spear would have a little bit more range than it does, but it doesn't seem to... Here, hold on. Let me see if I can get this guy a little bit. Oh, okay, I got him there. All right, well, maybe I can get him with the spear. It seems to be a little bit easier with the bow, but I'm going to see if I can get him with the spear. All right, come on, buddy. Let's go. Run your little ass off. All right, not, not you. Not you, deer. The horse. I want the deer to slow down. Come on, damn it. Slow down. Slow down. Aren't you tired yet? They usually get stuck on rocks and everything. Yeah, see? It doesn't seem like... Maybe I've had a faster horse. Hold on, I'm gonna try and get this guy. Oh, boy. Maneuverability on the horse is pretty good. He's just not fast enough. Come on. Who's going to get tired first, the deer or my horse? Or me? <laughs> Alright. Come up. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is... um. I got him a couple good times, but if he starts getting ahead of you, you know, unless you have a faster horse, doesn't seem like it's going to be a thing. Ah! Damn it, he tricked me. Alright. I'm going to go back to the bow. I'll let him calm down. See, the cool thing about riding on the horse while I'm doing this is I get more riding experience. There we go. And then we just kind of follow him around a bit. Until he chills out. Alright, come on. And sometimes, if I'm lucky, I can hit him on the run. <laughs> you don't even have to get the headshots either to get the good damage. By the way, um, I seem to be getting... I'm, I think this is a different deer than the one I was killing earlier. But I seem to get more um, hide if I use the... Oh, I'm getting fur there. Interesting. Alright, I'm going to use the um, knife. Cool, I got some fur. Alright, awesome. Now I want to finish the quest for the making the bandages. So we finished that. And now we need to make ourselves a weapons bench. I do have 50 rubble at home. So let's bring this guy back into the corral. I don't know if anything will come around and mess with this guy. Or girl. Whatever. My horse. Um, but, you know, I made the corral. I might as well put her in there. Come on. It'll probably be easier if I, if I just had her follow me. Instead of getting on her. I'll have to try that next time. And before we go, I'm also going to look at her stats. Um, oh, you see? She, yeah, she needs food. See, I don't know if she's actually hungry. Yeah, her fullness wasn't 100%. Ooh, she ate that quick. All right, we got to get you some more food. Um, also, I can, make a, um, I can make a stable for the horses uh, at level 20. So I will want to do that. Come on, close. There we go. All right. Now let's come in here. Let's grab the rubble. I believe it's in here. Because it was weighing me down. Really? I don't have 50 rubble yet? Are you freaking serious with that? Wow. I thought I had 50 rubble. Let me check in here. No. That's regular stone. All right. I'll go get some more rubble. And there's the armor bench. And we will put that down. Um, I guess right here is a good spot for it. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And now it wants me to do that and then go to weapons bench, use the authority setting. Um, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Back. Weapons save log, weapons bench insufficient repair materials, weapons bench open inventory. There we go. All right, cool. So it wants me to make a, um, man, I'm going to have to waste resources on a weapon I don't want to use, <clears throat> which is going to suck, but... 
I guess it is what it is. I'm going to have to make the, uh, this thing right here. So, oh no, this right here. Yeah, that's the bone one. I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, open the inventory. Okay, right there, bone spear. That's what it wants me to make, right? Yeah, bone spear. All right, well, I, I don't know what I'm going to need for it, but I know I'm going to need some bones. So let's come in here. Uh, that's not my bones. Do I have all my bones on me? Nope, they're right here. Okay, what else am I going to need for this thing? This is a great this is a great spot for two windows, by the way. I, I could not have, like, picked, made this house any better. Um, <laughs> uh, straw rope, bones, and branches. Okay, bones. There we go. There's the rope. Go ahead and make me a bone spear. Now, I am in here, right? Yeah, so if I come out, it should show me making it. No, I didn't do it right. Damn it. Um, press E and craft, press E to craft weapons in the weapon bench. Yeah, so hold down E, but that's not, that's not what you're supposed to, oh, it's supposed to go to use. Uh, can I cancel that? Yeah, I don't think you can cancel it once it's started. Um, you know what? I'll make the bone sword, because I'm going to want to use that anyway. So there we go. Now am I going to be on there? Yep, there we go. I wonder if this will actually give me credit for the bone spear as well. I don't know, maybe not, but whatever. I'll get the quest credit, and then we'll bang out two quests. Now I gotta figure out where copper is. Collect copper. Oh boy. I gotta make a furnace and make a copper ingot. All right, apparently there's copper. If I come along this road, there'll be copper in these mountains, but I gotta be careful because there's also bandits there. Uh, let's finish up these things, get our experience. Um, wait, did I not craft the bone spear? I thought I did. I thought I crafted both. Hold on. Weapons bench. Oh, okay, great. I just didn't take it. All right, there we go. And finish that up. Okay, collect copper ore. Get copper mine. All right, collect copper mine. Sounds good to me. Um, I think we are just about where I want to be. So let me uh, let me put the sword down here. And I think I have a shield kicking around down here somewhere. Let me get my inventory organized and we're gonna go out and see if we can hit that copper mine. All right, that looks like a mountainous region where there'll be some copper mines. We just gotta be careful because I don't know what the hell is over here. I'm going to try and avoid any kind of trouble. And uh, <laughs> hopefully we can get a little bit of copper out of here um, and not get killed. That would be wonderful. It's almost nighttime too, unfortunately, but I don't even know what the copper nodes look like either. So I'm just going to kind of hit anything that looks out of the ordinary. Um, that stuff all looks pretty much normal. Um, yeah, these these all look pretty normal to me. Um, but I'll just hit whatever I can and see what's what. Oh, is that normal? I can't tell. Unfortunately, my, um, my hammer is not looking too good either. So I only have a certain amount of, uh, you know, time I can do here. Uh... Rubble, rubble, sand. Yeah, that's not a that's not a copper. I'm pretty sure this isn't copper either. Yeah, that's just regular stone. Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave my horse. Does my horse show up on the on that thing? No, it doesn't. So I can't go too far away from my horse. But I'm just gonna kind of look around here and see if I could find something that looks like it might be copper. Hmm, I don't think so. Nah. Maybe I'm not hitting them long enough. Maybe um, when it's copper, you gotta hit it a few times. But I'm not sure. These, honestly, these these nodes don't look that different from the ones I've been hitting. So I think we'll go up here. And, man, I'm, I'm really nervous about losing this damn horse. I mean, I can always grab another yeah. one, so... But it's just, you know... Prefer not to lose the horse, obviously. Probably gonna lose horses a lot in this game, though, I imagine. All right, so let's look around. Oh, that's a copper node. That's a copper node. That is unmistakable. All right, let's see how much we get for it. All right. It wants me to get six. All right, let's try and get six before we go back to town. Or back to my base. Oh, we just got six. Beautiful. Now, I would stay out here a little bit longer. Um, eh, no, I would. I'm going to. I'm going to look for a little... I'm going to look for more copper nodes. Uh, let's take a look at my weight. The weight is looking okay. Yes, we got these copper notes here. Beautiful. All right. Let me see how much copper I can get, and then we'll get home, and we will start smelting it up in ingots. Wow, I just made it back, man. My freaking horse was starving. Actually, I think she's still hungry. I'm going to have to make her a lot of food. A lot of food. She's a hungry girl. There you go. Watch. She's going to eat that all. Two, one... 
Zero. She levels up as she eats, which is pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, her fullness was not looking too good. I need to figure out a better way to feed her. All right, so let's come in here and let's claim our rewards. There we go. And that's it. And then our next one is to get a furnace and get copper ingots, craft bronze armor at the tailor bench. Okay, so they're forgetting something here. Uh, at least I don't think I ever saw the quest for it. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Um, in order to make the furnace, you need a architect's bench, right? So there's the architect's bench and I don't have enough copper for the architect's bench. The architect's bench, which is right here, takes 18 copper and I only have 16. Um, my ex, my hammer broke. I couldn't have got 18 even if I wanted to, but, um, you know, the quest in this game have been really good. But they need to move that one around a little bit. The architect's bench, they should tell you to get 18 copper at least because you can't cook the copper. Unless I'm missing something, you can't cook the copper without the architect's bench. So, yeah. And I think that's going to have to wait till next episode. I'm going to repair my hammer. We're going to go back over there. I might even do it off camera. You already saw me do it. So, I'll get some more and we will be smelting up some ingots next video. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.